Well, there's a brutal attack on a New York City subway platform leaves a Thai model shaken. It happened in November, just months after she moved to the city. The suspect, well, he's still on the loose. And that woman is speaking out on the random attack. Watch this. The thing that just happened to me is not supposed to happen to anyone at all. And I just want to catch a guy as soon as possible. So this kind of thing not happen to anyone else. His appearance is pretty clear in the video, but I just wonder like, it's almost one month now. Yeah. And why did not catch a guy? The attack comes amid questions about the surge in lawlessness in the city. Former New York City Police Commissioner Howard Safer joins us now, and that's a tragic situation. I'm proud of her. You know, she's bold to be able to come on TV and talk about it. She's concerned. Sir, the, there are so many notable crimes of 2021 right here in uh, New York City, and as a former commissioner, it must really frustrate you. It does frustrate me because the fact is that criminals are no longer afraid of police. They're no longer afraid of going to jail because of these crazy bail laws. Uh, police officers who have lost qualified immunity in New York City are hesitant to take action, except when a crime is in progress. And of course, that's a failure uh, because they're worried about their families and their livelihood. Uh, the defund police movement has finally realized that this is a failure. What we need to do is refund police and be aggressive in going after criminals. Yeah. Just so our viewers know, this happened at four o'clock in the morning, apparently, to this young woman. She'd been in the country, as Dana mentioned, three months. But, but uh, Macy's, Herald Square, is where the Thanksgiving Day Parade ends every year. Uh, th th this is not some far flung place in the outer boroughs of New York. This is smack dab in the middle of Manhattan. Just on the screen, we can show you all the attacks that uh, we've been reporting on here in the city. Do you think the incoming mayor, Eric Adams, and his newly named police commissioner that I'll, we'll get to in a moment here, are they going to do the tough job to put the city back in a direction where people expect it to go? And that is towards safety and less crime. I certainly hope so. Eric Adams was a police officer. He knows what needs to be done. Uh, commissioner Sewell, the incoming commissioner, she has a good background in policing. She has said that she adopts the broken windows theory and that she's going to put the plainclothes uh, groups back on the street to go after guns and drugs. Uh, easy to say, harder to do. Uh, I'm hopeful that this will change the, the dynamics for the last eight years where Mayor de Blasio has basically destroyed criminal justice in New York City. Yeah, violent crime. Uh, this is a call for two, if you could put up on the screen. Shootings are up 2.4%, rape 2.2%, robbery 4.7%, felony assault 9.4%, grand larceny 10%. So let's, th that's what she's going to have to deal with. Let's listen to her. Keechan Sewell, that she is the incoming New York City Police Commissioner. The first thing we have to do is get a handle on the violence in the city. I mean, that's absolutely unacceptable. So we're going to be laser focused on that. And I think when we talk about the officers that we're going to ask to step up and do their jobs, we're going to support them. Mm -hmm. We need the community to support us as well. And we certainly want to go to the community for their ideas to be able to support those officers and how we can start these initiatives to get a handle on the violence. For the police that have maybe felt demoralized or not supported under uh, the de Blasio administration, what, you know, what challenges does she face to try to earn that back? Well, she, changed, she faces a lot of challenges. One, uh, reducing crime that has gone on for the last eight years is not easy. Second, she's going to have to show the police officers that she has their back. When an incident happens, she's going to have to come out very aggressively if the police officer did the right thing and say, in spite of the video, in spite of uh, people shouting loudly, I've looked at it and it's going to be within policy. It's very, very important that the police commissioner and the mayor show their support for police officers. Otherwise, things are going to stay the same. She is now managing 350 cops in Nassau County outside of New York. This force is 30,000 plus. What do you think of that comparison and the step up in that job, sir? Well, it's going to be a steep uh, learning curve. The fact is, you know, the New York City Police Department is the best police department in the world. But managing it requires a great deal of skill and a great mm -hmm. deal of relying on good people within the department. Mm -hmm. I'm optimistic that she will be able to do that with the help of the senior management 
that exists in the department, but we'll just have to see. Yeah, so are we. Well, we're pulling for her, that's <laughs> yes. for sure. Um, she's got a big yeah. job. Don't and I think she'll do, yeah, yeah, we're all pulling for her. Pulling Thank both. you so much. Great to have you, sir. Thank you. Howard Safer with us.